Hello, welcome to Putty Tic Tac Toe, the series in which you're mashing up two different things and find a play that has that in common. And today we're joined by Curbs. How are you doing, mate? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, mate. How are you? Got some good news and bad news, Curbs. Oh, I never like bad news, so hit me, hit me with it, mate. Good Go news on. first. Uh, oh, I bought Derby's Away kit for the season. Uh, Why is that good news for me? Blue. <laughs> like, um, I mean, it's good news for me. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm oh, okay. News, yeah. Lovely. Bad news is they just lost to Northampton in it, um, oh. and Sonny Bradley got sent off in the last minute. So he's out for the next three. It's great, it's great being a Derby fan. It's, it's great. And you know what, mate? I'm actually happy with my team. Normally, United ruin my weekend. We've just not beaten Liverpool. Weekend. They're not playing. Oh, I think you just going to say that. They're not playing this weekend. <laughs> well, that's so also can't... true. They are playing yeah. this weekend, so they can't ruin my weekend other than Max Verstappen winning by 20 seconds again. But what I'm, a shock. I'm still in good good spirits from last week against Liverpool, which yeah. is great. Good game that was, to be fair. Yeah, was, from the um, intro, you must have absolutely loved that, innit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for you, you'd be like oh, yeah, loving I'm it gassed. at the end. I, I made yeah. sure Jack54 had a horrible week. But What would you like to start with on the grid? Uh, You know what, mate? As, as we batter them, let's go with United. Why not? We will say a little bit of... Do you know what? It looks like an Inter Milan kit, so I'll go Inter Milan, this uh, Derby away kit. It like looks blue like and black. Inter Milan, interesting. Yeah, it's blue and black, but it's like chessboard. Um, you know what, mate? Let's go for, should we go for Bayer Leverkusen, as they're having a cracking season? They are. We'll um, just see what happens with uh, Mr. Gary Alonso. Alonso. It, do you know what? It, it wouldn't actually shock me if he just stays where he is. That's what, what I mean. mean. Like You could start a, like literally take Bayern's throne... Or at least yeah. make it competitive. You know, well, yeah, the fact like that Bayern have won it for like what X amount of years Ten in a row, years, and then yeah. Bayer Leverkusen are going to like have an invincible season. It's like, mm -hmm. bruh. Uh, we will say for the next uh, option, uh, Spanish. Um, let's go Marseille. Why not? Oh, don't like them. Yeah. Them and them and Leon. Boring. Um, <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Your knowledge of League Gun is for some reason stupidly good. Like, yeah. Um, we <laughs> Premier League team in. Okay, West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. What would you like to start with? You know what, mate? I'll start with the classic in the middle and probably one of my favourite footballers from this year. Actually, we'll go with Grimaldo. Mm. Uh, we will say oh, West Ham Marseille. Dimitri Bryant. Yes. Oh, I wonder why. He's um, off in the Brazilian league now. Like Vasco da Gama or something. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Not so homesick now, though, is he? Man, Don't no, worry, West Ham fans. To... I've got you back. Uh, let's go Marseille. Oh, do we block you off in that corner? Yeah, go on. Let's go Alexis Sanchez, mate. One of the worst players I've ever seen play live in a United shirt. <laughs> I mean, it's because of how good he was at Arsenal and then just... Yeah, the, and I'm just, I'm just sat there like, bro, have we just got like his monumental. lazy fat brother or something like... <laughs> you know good, at, I mean? good at the piano. Good at the piano. Yeah, true. Um, the only thing he United, was good at wearing a United shirt. United and West Ham. We'll go for someone that you'll love, Curbs. Uh, Carlos <gasps> Tevez. Carlitos. Um, right, well, I need to block you off with a bit of Bayer Leverkusen and West Ham. Ooh. That's an interesting one. I don't know if you're like smirking right now because you've just got like an absolute mental one going. But um well I don't know one for West Ham or by Leverkusen. Um so I'm gonna have to go Leverkusen and Inter Milan. I think we should just go Chalanoglu. Inter Milan by Leverkusen. Yeah. Yeah, good one. Yeah, we'll go for that because I, I don't know if you know a um Leverkusen West Ham. Funny enough, I don't know West Ham by Leverkusen at the minute. I'm glad because um, I don't either, to yeah. be fair. Uh, yeah, so same. I'll go United and Inter Milan, and we will say Mikel Silvestre. Ooh. Um, let's just go Ander Herrera. I want to try to throw it back to you. Lovely. Lovely. Spanish at Marseille. If it helps, I've got one. Yeah, so uh, it's Morientes. Oh, it wasn't him, actually. No, I, I was going to go with Paul Lopez, Spanish keeper. Yeah, Paul right in the kisser. Yeah. West Ham, by a Labour a There's got to be not... just some random wacky one from back in the day or something like that. Not really any Germans at West Ham other than Thomas Hitzelberger, but he's like Wolfsburg and yeah, I was gonna say just not Leverkusen. Leverkusen, was he? Um, let's go... Mm. Yossi Ben Ayun. Why do mm. I remember him playing for Baron Blue oh. at some point? Did he play for West Ham? 
I'm trying to think of players that probably that could have that, that played for so many different clubs and may have ventured over there. I would say Ben Ayew just in case. I don't really yeah, have anything did, else to go off, but he did play for West Ham. Okay, good. So I do remember uh, him twice playing. actually. Really, two stints. Yeah. yeah Went on loan, um, but no Leverkusen. No. The one I want to try is Miega, the striker. See if Ooh, he's. Oh, that could be a good shout. West Ham, QPR, Le Mans, Al Nasser. Uh, but no, no Leverkusen, unfortunately. Oh. It's that kind of thing. You need like a Diafra Sacco or something. Something like London, that is yeah. going to be that kind of a player, isn't it? I'll have a look on uh, FB Ref. Let's mm. get the two. Back, I, I reckon. There might, there's definitely going to be some older ones, but... Sometimes it's just not possible, and that's the funny ones where you literally... <laughs> You're just there like, oh, well, GG, guessing, I guess. Guessing Games the players game. that don't exist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, ah, oh, there's a really good one, but you should get this, Curves. Oh, oh it's is it well. Chicha? It's Chicharito. No, yeah. now that you've said that as well. Yeah. No, the comments are going to... No! They're going to be there like, oh, just say Chicharito. <sighs> I've just seen Derby lost to Northampton in the... Like one nil and oh, the season's gone. But oh, I'm tilted off my skull. My my head's gone anyway. Do you know so. what? I actually forgot Hernandez even played for West Ham. He's more than Leverkusen for me. Weirdly, oh, um, no hell. points for the first round. No points, just more frustration, and more sadness for Pinky. <laughs> Into round number two, I get to start this time, and we will say a Mexican since we forgot. She should return the last one. I like that, mate. I like that. I like it. Let's go for a team that are having a good season. Should we go for the Arsenal? Whether they win the title or not, we'll have to wait and see. Mm. I still I still think City are going to win it. It's boring, but they're just going to be yeah. boring. Uh, I will say a La Liga title for mine. Um, Let's go... Hmm. Ajax. Ooh. A bit of Ajax. Yeah. yeah. Getting your double A's in. Yeah. Let's end off with probably a Premier League team or a Championship team. What's gone? No, we'll go Southampton. Southampton. I was going to go Leicester, but um, let's go FA Cup winner. Cool. I get to start this time. We will me. go Southampton Arsenal. Theo Walcott. Oh, very nice. Double L. It's not double L, is nah, it? It's one L. One. one L, two T's. Um, I think, mate. I will go. La Liga title with Ajax Schneider. Wesley Schneider with Real Madrid title and played mm. for Ajax. Let's have a look. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I... just the, just the one. To be fair, it He's is just the what the I one. thought so. Yeah, because he wasn't there for a long time. But no, uh, yeah. we Brent will go FA Cup winner Southampton. Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Ooh, very nice. Either with Arsenal, or Liverpool. Yeah, would have got one. Right. Um. Ajax and Southampton. Do you know what's mad? Whenever, like, the team that instantly, like, pops into my brain is, like, the 2012-13 Southampton when they first came back up. So all yeah. I can really think of is, like, your yeah, Lalana, Ricky Lambert, Punchin, Fonte, players like that. Schneiderlin. Yeah, Morgan bloody... Oh, God, that's another player that... Jesus. Oh, this is tilting because I just don't know... No, I think I'm just going to have to go for something else, I think. Oh, you're going to be kicking yourself. I oh, you I know. That's the annoying thing. I just don't know. You can go somewhere else. I'm going to have to, mate. Let's go for Arsenal La Liga title. Let's go for Alex Song. Because I, I just can't, I can't yeah. think of the Ajax one. That's what you're good at, good at singing songs. Um, uh, well, yeah, apparently I'm better at that than I am of bloody guessing an Ajax or Southampton player. Yeah, the player was a winger, Kibbs. Oh, it was he's a winger. At... What's his name? Benabache was... now. It's Dusan Tadic is the player. Oh, that's the what? Oh, I'm yeah. so tilted. Uh, so the other ones, well. uh, Stecklenburg, also played for Southampton. And Elia, I think. Yeah. No, Elia wouldn't have worked, actually. Elia was, was never. Was he uh, No, he was none. Final. No, he did do Southampton. It was oh, Final oh, Den... Den Haag and Twente. Oh, fair. Yeah, just Tadic and uh, Stecklenburg. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, it's one of them. Tilted one. Forgettable player. When you just can't, rem like, yeah, it's like, if you're a Southampton fan, mm -hmm. you're or I actually be like, oh, yeah, obvious. But... Yeah. Mexican at Arsenal. I've only got one. Uh, Yeah, just Carlos Vela in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Mexican at Ajax is Edson... Alvarez. Alvarez. I don't know if there's anyone else over the years. Probably at some point. Oh, what's the... No, he was PSV, actually. The... um. Mexican FA Cup winner, I assume, was Chicharito. I believe so. Surely would have won it with 
Yeah, he never won. He never won an FA Cup. And really? Then apparently, unless Wikipedia's lying to me. I mean, probably. it's Wikipedia. There is, there is a chance. Yeah. No, no FA Cup win with uh, United. Weirdly, so I don't know who would have. Um... Would have worked for that, yeah. Yeah. Would Vela have been at Arsenal for one of their FA Cup mm, wins? That's a probably, potential. Probably not. And then FA Cup winner La Liga title. <laughs> I don't know why, but the first name that came to this was Jonathan Woodgate, but I don't think it works. I think you'd have the FA Cup. I don't know. I was just saying. the Spurs, tricky bit. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, just say Gary Gary Lineker. Did Lineker win the La Liga? Again, might have not actually won a La Liga title, weirdly, because he wasn't that. True. He was around 2002, so he was there with R9 and Beckham. No? Yeah. He's got the FA Cup, uh, Owen, but no, no La Liga. No La Liga. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let us know, guys, those last two, uh, Mexican FA Cup winner and a La Liga Do you know FA what's funny? I think, I think Alex Song might have worked for the FA Cup winner and La Liga title, you know? But I actually think, I think he would yeah. have. I mean, I've just thought of one now. Thierry Henry, there you go, bottom middle. Oh, for God's yeah, sake, yeah. <laughs> Dear me. screaming at me. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the next game. Right, into round number three. Your time to start again. What would you like? Let's go for Champions League winner. I do like a good trophy. CL winner. Let's go for the EFL. Um, I'm going to go for Real Madrid. They're on my mind today. You know that team that win the Champions League most years? Yeah. Let's go... Aroma. Lovely. I've had a bad, I've had a bad day, Kibbs. I've had a bad day. Let me have some fun. <laughs> Let's go for... Should we go for Milan? Sure. Let's get you see that team that also win the Champions League or what? Um... <laughs> I'll end off with yeah. Let's go Borussia Dortmund. Oh, we do we do love a bit of Dortmund out here, don't we? What would you like to start with? I will start with a Champions League winner for the EFL. A man that was probably close to your heart at some point, mate. A man that I've probably seen play three times this season. Uh, Mason Mount. I think you say Scott Carson. <laughs> nah, it's. Uh... <laughs> Tea he's time, too yeah, exactly, Tea yeah, time, exactly, mate. That makes me sick that he's won it twice. I'll go for bottom right. Oh. AC Milan, Dortmund, Socrates, Papadopoulos. Lovely, lovely. Right, uh, let's go. Champions League winner with Borussia Dortmund. Let's go with Hummels. Mm. I could have gone something way simpler there with Lewandowski, but uh, Hummels was he though? Yeah, Hummels would have been part of the squad in the COVID season. He wasn't. He was back at Dortmund that season, Kerbs. You're bantering me. Yeah, went back to Dortmund in 2019. <sighs> they won in 2020, didn't they? Um, I'll go for an even funnier answer for this bottom left then. And uh, Paul Lambert. <laughs> Fair. You know what? You can have that one. Jesus yeah. Christ. One of the few Scottish <sighs> players to win it. But the Celtic did win it one year, so I guess. So probably. Um, oh, I'm, I'm tilted, man. Like, how is Hummels not? I should have just gone Lewandowski like any normal person would have. Uh, right, Madrid, Dortmund. Let's go for Nuri Sahin, please. I will go AC Milan EFL. And we will say... Ooh, let's go Adel Tarat. Big Adel. Very mm. nice. Obviously, tomorrow, tomorrow he works as well, but that's too easy. Yeah. Roma and Milan. Right. Um, oh, dear. This is where this could be. Oh, uh, uh, El Sharawi. Yeah, El Sharawi. Yeah. Uh, and then to win it, win it in the middle, Roma, Real Madrid. We will say a bit of... The man, that, the man that always comes out for this one. Gabriel Hines. Oh, fair. Gabriel Hines. Got for a different one. Yeah, yeah mate, as well. Rudiger as well. Oh, I fumbled that so badly by saying... Why did I say Matt Hummels, mate? Could have gone for, like, Lewandowski. So mm -hmm. many different players. Uh, Roma Champions League winner. Um, I would say Rudiger for that, to be fair. Rudiger, but, yeah. And then EFL Real Madrid. Do you know any for this, Kerbs? Um, Gareth Bale? Would he yeah. have played Southampton EFL? Yeah. He would have, yeah, against Derby in the playoff semi-final. Uh, we beat him. Yeah. We beat him that day. So who's the real winner? Okay. <laughs> probably like still Gareth Bale, because he's yeah. probably a... <laughs> got a few hundred mil in the bank uh, and he's retired playing he golf every Derby day on penalties so <laughs> one nil to me going into the fourth round now what would you like to start with uh this is your start no it is my start yeah good you know you're serious and you're definitely uh, you're definitely two nil up as well i probably have yeah <laughs> get all the facts right at least i'm winning <laughs> something today in a derby oh. shirt uh we will say a brazilian oh nice 
Um, let's go for... You know what? Let's go for Bayern. I will say... A bit of Napoli. Um, should we go for a... Should we go for a cup for this one? Or... Hmm... Should we go for Europa League winner? Something a bit different? Yeah. That's nice. I'll end off with... A bit of... Man City. Let's go with a five foot seven player or below. Eh, uh, sure. As you know, Pingu, both of us are below that, so it's debatable. <laughs> it's not. It's not debatable, though, is it? It is debatable. <laughs> you know, it is. Uh, right. Definitely not. <laughs> Let's go. Firstly, go from a Brazilian Bayern Munich player, Douglas Costa. Ah, oh, baller! Best, I'll, al best. I'll always remember him doing reverse Elastico and Megging. Uh, was it? Chambers, I think it was at the Emirates. Probably unbelievable yeah, sounds, bit of skill. Sounds about right. Right, let's go. Hmm, where should we start? Do you know, what? I'm gonna go right next to you, mate. Let's go Napoli and Bayern Munich. We'll go for Kim Min Jae. Go Brazilian little player. Let's go for Bernard. Oh, Bernard. Sure, he's, he's, yeah, he's like five seven. four, I think, mate. Yeah, I think you're yeah. safe with that one. Brazilian Europa League winner Diego Carlos. Painful on that one because it was against mm. us. Let's go do, 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 do. for the middle. Napoli Europa League winner. Can we conjure up here what severe play has been to Napoli? I think of anyone at the minute, weirdly. So I'll go by Munich by Leverkusen. And I'll say. Bayern Munich a bit... by a Leverkusen. Interesting. Like, you know what I mean? City <laughs> by Munich. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> we will go. Um... Anyone like uh, just Diddy Aman, sure. Diddy Aman, yeah, good one actually. For the middle curbs, I'm determined that there's definitely an obvious one here. I'm just sort of going through. I mean, have Napoli won the Europa League recently in the last 10 years? Oh no, I think I've got one. Gonzalo Higuain, I think he might have won it with Chelsea, maybe. I think that was the season that. Hazard was going as well. A bit rogue, but maybe. It does work. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a good answer. But who, who are you thinking of? Uh, Raul Albion or Villarreal. Ah, uh, yeah. That would have been a good... Yeah, that, yeah, that would have worked, actually. Yeah. Very good. A little man from Napoli or Man City Europa League winner. I'll leave you with that, Man City Europa League winner. So I'll go a little man from Napoli and we will say... Oh, would he be under five foot seven though? Yeah, surely. Insigne. <laughs> Big Lorenzo. Oh, yeah. Tilt. I was actually thinking of Politano for that one. I was about to get Maradona and then I remembered uh what do you call it? I don't know if Maradona's under five. Yeah, he's five five. Um, yeah, he's little as well. Yeah. yeah, he's five five. I think I've got one. I'm trying to remember if Samir Nasri's loan to Sevilla, and that was the year that they won it. Maybe. Yeah, I've got an answer, Kerbs, that works. So I'm, not, I'm not surprised that you've got an answer. Oh, I don't know. Any other Spanish ones? Oh, Jesus Navas, surely. That's the one I wrote down. Ah, he... yeah, I was, I, I was just thinking then between Spanish and City, so mm. surely. He has won it um, one, two, three, yeah, four times. I think that'll work. Four times, Jesus Christ. Yeah, just about. Lovely. Well done, Kerbs. Three in a row. Two, Lovely. one on the scores. Um, redemption, happy day. Just to finish it off for me, a little man from Man City. I mean, Jesus Navas would have worked. Um, True. But we'll say... He, he was about five... Was he five, seven, five, eight? Yeah, I'll say Nigel De Jong. He's my little City player. Short leads under, five foot seven, right? I would have said he was like 5'9". He is 5'9", yeah. yeah. don't know then. That any, one. any other little city players? Uh, David Silva, maybe? David Silva Or Sterling, is... maybe, actually. Yeah, David Silva's 5'7", that'll do. <laughs> Lovely. Right, let's go into the final round then, Curbs. You can make it 2-2. Two -two. So, yeah. what would you like to start with? Let's go with... Uh, where have we not really been today, mate? What we what we thinking? Over a hundred club goals for one team. Yeah. I will go with the MLS. Um. Yeah. Oh God. Let's go for a club that you know. Uh, let's go for what have we not had today? A nation. That's true. Actually, yeah, we could go for a, for a nation. Should we go for? Let's go for. Should we go for Spanish? We will say. 
Prem, Prem team. Prem team that we've not said in a while. Whoa. Do you know what? Just because I absolutely slate them all the time. Crystal Palace. Fair. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh. Okay. Well, my top right one will go for played in three or more leagues. And then I'll end off with... Yeah. Fiorentina. Can I go with. in the bottom right, man? And we'll go for Stevan Jovetic. Do they need to be 100 goals at Fiorentina? Or... Yeah, yeah, we Could should do it like that. Yeah, make think, it a yeah, bit more difficult. Yeah, because then it's at Palace and then... Yeah, yeah. Oh, but then it's got to be a player that scored 100 goals at an MLS team. Mm, if that's oh, even possible. <laughs> I think it would be. You may, you'd think so. Like, yeah, yeah, some bloke would be there forever. I've, just... got, I've, I've got one in mind for that that it might be. Scoring sure. tap-ins all day. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'll go top left and I'll go Bradley Wright Phillips. You know what? That was the one that I was thinking of as well. Actually. He was there forever. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go with... We'll go for the three or more leagues then. And we'll go for Zlatan in the top right. Take that one off the uh, off the board. Um, Alice and lots of leagues. We will say Michi Batshuayi. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like He's got about 20. <laughs> yeah, he's got loads of it. <laughs> Uh, Crystal Palace and Spanish will go for Guaita. Mm, that's a good one. Well, Fiorentina 100 goal club. Got a few names, but I'm going to try Alberto Giardino. He was at Fiorentina for ages, and he scored 48 goals. Oh, Not wow. as many as I thought. It's going to be a tough one, that then, isn't it? I've got a couple of others. I've got a couple of others. 100 goals for Fiorentina, surely. I'm, trying, I'm thinking maybe it's more way more of an old school player for this time kind of one. Yeah. Especially in the last like 15, 20 years, if they're if they're good at Fiorentina, they probably would have moved to you. Move, Juve yeah. Milan or Mike dodge it. Let's go for David Villa for the Spanish and MLS. Let's just uh, keep the board keep the board flowing. Let's go for Palace and a hundred goals for one club. Well it's gotta be for Palace. Yeah, a hundred goals for Cristo Palace. I want to try it. Has Jordan Ayo scored 100 goals for them yet? Because he's been there for it's, a number of years, not, hasn't he? It's not the one I would have gone with. No, it's not. No. He has got, for Crystal Palace, 22 one. goals. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, Palace fans. <laughs> oh, dear. We've had a stinker. I will try. Ooh. Do you know what? I'll go, I'll go Palace, because then I can still win it if I... Because I don't think you'll... Get it, hopefully, the bottom left. We'll yeah. see. Uh, Palace, 100 goals for Palace. 100 goals for Crystal Palace. I'll go Glenn Murray. Oh, yeah, top answer, actually. Um, he has got 47 goals. <sighs> no. <laughs> Can I, I, actually, I, I, really, I don't know why I really want to get this one. What about yeah, Wilfred one... Zaha? Yeah, that, that was the... Because he was obviously there before, came to us, went back, and he's been at Palace for so many years. It's amazing he's not done it as well. He's not done it. He hasn't. Yet. Bloody hell. How he's many has he got? 80, I think. Bloody if I had hell. The two, that's adding the two stints together. Oh, do you know what, Curbs? Hang on. Oh, go on. Both stints together. Both stints together. 72 at 18 oh. is 90. Sad. Crystal um, Palace. Who's the Crystal Palace's all time got? Do you know, I know, yeah. Like, that's actually, it's a tough an one. Old, an old bloke there yeah. that just banged him in. For years. It's gonna be like Ian Wright or something, isn't it? Mm, um, he might be, he might be right. Yeah. Well you said him in the last one, so we'll go Ian Wright for Crystal Surely he's got hundred dollars <laughs> for Crystal Palace. I go on Ian Wright. I mean can we can we count all yeah yeah yeah. So in it, yeah, uh, 118 goals for Crystal Palace, thank God for that. Fair enough, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> finally got a right answer there. Let's go. Um oh, oh come on. What did he Canio? Again, another person that might not even play for few. I know, he's just Italian and he's just, he was good, wasn't he? Like, he got 126 in his entire career. Oh, you um, never know, 100 might have been at Fiorentina and 26 no. in the Brem. No, 47 at West Ham, 15 at Sheffield Wednesday. Oh. And 12 at Celtic, I didn't even play Celtic, to be honest. Neither um, did I, actually, that's crazy, what? I'm going to try uh, Batistuta. Oh. Big, big Gabriel. There we go. I've won it. Oh, you've, oh, he actually does have a hundred as well. Fair. You got a hundred. I mean, I, I was just going back now because I was like, well, if nobody's won it recently for Fiorentina, like, what, what even has the like got goals in the? Like, yeah, you'll have to. Have who's got goals for Fiorentina? There'll be loads of names for this, surely. Notable players, surely it'll be in here. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, yeah, Batistuta, Mutu maybe if he's got some. He got seventy in the league anyway. Or is that seventy in total? It is seventy in total. So yeah, I mean it is literally. It's Gabriel Batistuta and Kurt Hammerin from the nineteen sixties. Whoever this bloke is. The only person who know him is AJ Three. Christ. Yeah, he died. He only died this year. Eighty nine. Uh, but yeah, hopefully Fair you guys point, did enjoy today's episode. Three one win for me. And uh, some good answers, some different, you know, these 100 goal ones are quite good. I think that's, uh, do you know what we did in that last uh, grid as well, Curbs? We've got a father and son in Bradley and Ian oh, on the board. Oh, true. Didn't even realise that. Yeah. But yeah, make sure you do check out Curbs, drop him a sub and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.